Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Young with the Alkaline Tip of the Day, and I'd like to talk a little bit about physiology, specifically about a system that's not described currently in any medical text, and that's the alkaline buffering system. And the main organ that is responsible for alkalizing all of our other glands and our blood and our bones and our food is the stomach. The main purpose of the stomach is to create sodium bicarbonate to supply that sodium bicarbonate to the salivary glands, to the pancreas, to the small intestine in order to prepare the food at a pH of 8.4 to be transformed into stem cells. Stem cells are made in the crypts of the small intestine and it's the stomach which is at the front line to manufacture that sodium bicarbonate. So when you have an upset stomach, it's because the body needs more sodium bicarbonate and the stomach is producing that sodium bicarbonate and you end up with a belly full of acid. It's the cause of, of an upset stomach. It's the cause of acid reflux. And this is what happens. It starts with the blood. In the blood there's water, there's carbon dioxide and there's salt. The stomach pulls, the stomach pulls water, H2O, salt, NaCl, and carbon dioxide, CO2, right? CO2 to make sodium bicarbonate. And our body is constantly making sodium bicarbonate. Now for each molecule of sodium bicarbonate that's made by the stomach to supply the salivary glands, the pancreas, the blood, or the tissues, an equal amount of hydrochloric acid is produced as a waste product. So hydrochloric acid provides no benefit whatsoever in the human body, and it falls, if you look over here, it falls into the crevasses or the gastric pits. So when you put food in your mouth, goes down the esophagus into the stomach, it falls into a pool of secretions of sodium bicarbonate which raises to the top as the hydrochloric acid falls away from the food to raise the pH of that food to an ideal pH of 8.4. This is a very, very important part because when we understand the food needs to be alkalized and it needs to be in a liquid state. It's very important that we understand that we only have one instrument in the human body to digest food and that's our teeth. If we don't masticate the food to a liquid state, then when we swallow it, it will come out the same way. And the body cannot do anything with fiber. It cannot do anything with foods that are not in a liquid state because in that state, it can fold into the crypts of the small intestine and then be converted into stem cells. And those stem cells are then made into blood, and blood is made into bone, into muscle, and all other organs and tissues. You see how wonderful this is? And it helps us to understand something that's not described in any medical text. And that's, why does my tummy hurt? Why do I get an upset tummy? Why do I have acid reflux? It's because the body needs more alkalinity. We are alkaline by design and acidic by function. That's the alkaline tip for the day.